Hey guys, OBB here. Uh, just coming back to the quick video. Um, so today I was thinking while driving to work, uh, some advice I have for your young preppers. Uh, obviously I'm not that old myself. Um, so I'd say anyone 30 and under uh, without kids. Uh, I don't have kids at the moment, so hopefully soon, but God willing. Uh, so, some advice for kids. Or, kids. Sorry. Advice for young preppers. Try not to get tied up in all the fancy stuff that you'll see on uh, YouTube or forums or anything like that. Uh, don't worry about having 100 acres because at that age at my age you're not going to have that uh, that's something to work forward to uh, it's a goal uh, unless you know somehow you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth it's just not going to happen uh, not, not at not in your early 20s uh, or at least not where I live um, the price of land is just too high um so, focus on maybe, uh, if you can't buy, uh, maybe look into renting a house in the country. No, you don't own it, okay? But uh, you still lower your population density equation. You'll be able to afford it. Uh, it still normally comes with a decent plot of land. From my experience, when you rent a house out in the country, they don't care if you put a raised bed garden in, they really don't care, they actually like to see that, uh, so they don't think you're just some city slicker trying to move out to the country, um, so yeah, that's probably your best bet to get out of the city, is to rent in the country, uh, unless you can buy, if you can buy, then yeah, buy a house in the country. Uh, for example, here, a decent sized home uh, out in the country on about an acre is about 150000 Canadian. Uh, you can buy an older home that's kind of run down uh, for about 80000 uh, on maybe an acre. So it is feasible. Uh, currently looking at a house on a small piece of property, it takes like an acre and a half. Or it's about 90,000 small town so it's decent uh, it's better than nothing it's a good place to start uh, another thing you want to look out for is I myself have noticed a lot that people are trying to push on certain brands um, I fell for that early on some of the things I regret, some of them I don't. Uh, for example, my bug out bag, uh, it's a Maxpedition. Yes, it was expensive, but I've had no problems with it whatsoever. The things that tank, I'm gonna be doing a video on that. Uh, another thing, the whole how you have to have 100,000 guns and all that, you, you should have a gun. Um, but if you can't afford one, or you don't have the means to store it properly, uh, I would recommend going with either a crossbow or a longbow. Uh, I have both. Air rifles are also a great place to start. If you don't know how to use a firearm, get an air rifle first and learn. Uh, your basic fundamentals, sight picture, uh, how to properly handle a firearm. Treat it as if it was a, uh, a live firearm at all times. Be safe with it. Learn your trigger discipline. Okay. That's how I started. They're also great for kids. So if you want to get your kids into shooting, highly recommend starting them on a pellet, right, pellet gun first. And then go up to a 22 and up from there. Um, 
Another thing to think about and to keep in mind is finances. Uh, don't blow all your money on prepping. Uh, try to keep yourself to a budget, whether that's $50 a month, $20 a month, $100 a month, doesn't matter. Uh, I try to live off 40% of each paycheck. So the other 60% is banked kind of thing. Um, try to do that. And if you can only manage 50-50, that's better than, any, than nothing. And if you can manage 80-20, that's better than nothing too. Or vice versa, if you can manage to live off 20%, you're doing pretty good. So don't blow money on prepping for no reason. Uh, I have a lot of gear, I have a lot of food, right? But I'm also keeping into account that I'm the only one in my family that's honestly into prepping uh like hardcore my dad yeah he's into prepping but in a different way uh, not to the no i don't want to say extreme but not to the level of what i am my dad's in the level of prepping that i was into when i was like 17 or 18 okay uh eyes haven't fully opened yet unfortunately to what's coming down the pike uh, so keep that in mind. What you're going to want to do as a young prepper is focus on having a minimal bug out bag. Don't load it full of goo gaws, okay? GPS and all this, and you don't need that. Um, map and compass has worked for thousands of years. It'll work for you now. Get good at it because when those satellites go down, right? Your GPS means nothing to you, okay? Uh, unfortunately, it's a skill that I feel has been lost. Most people don't know how to use a map and compass, let alone drive on a road using just a map, okay? Very few people can do it. Everyone relies on their phones, which is also a dwindling resource in a post-SHDF environment. So, that's another thing that I was getting to is maps. Make sure you have lots of maps of your area and your surrounding areas. Uh, as I said, for firearms and security, uh, there's lots of things you can do that are way cheaper than owning guns. Uh, not as effective, but in the long run, I feel like they would probably be more uh, versatile. Uh, for example, crossbows, uh, recurve bows, compound bows, long bows, uh, air rifles, all that, way more effective in the long run because I see everyone out there saying, oh yeah, I'm going to go hunt deer and they got this 308 Winchester or 338 Lapua or 223 Remington. Like, these things are bloody cannons, okay? If you're in a valley, even if you shoot off a 22, somebody who knows that what it is is going to hear that from a ways away, and you're not going to be able to stay hidden. They're going to be looking for you, okay? Because they know, hey, this guy just got food, and their senses are going to go switched on, and they're going to be looking for you, okay? A bow is silent, a crossbow is silent, okay? Air rifles, perfect for small game. I myself don't need things to go forth on pause, but if you do, a 22 pellet gun or a 25 caliber pellet gun or whatever, even a 177 with enough power, will take out squirrels and rabbits. Okay, I've used them for pest control before. My 22 is only 495 feet per second, and I can take rabbit, I can take squirrel, I can scare off a raccoon. Uh, shoot birds all day with the 177 okay so and food stack as much as you possibly can every time you go to the store just buy a little bit extra take 20 bucks add it on to your budget and every single time you go to the store to get food buy twenty dollars worth of extra food okay pick a closet or pick a bin do something and just fill it and when that one's full close it up and get another one 
Hey guys, uh, it's really not that hard. You don't need to be dropping hundreds of dollars all at once on food. Uh, if you can't, if you can, all power to you, but if you can't, you can't, right? It only takes $20. Uh, so this is the end of part one. I'm coming into work, so uh, I'll come at you with part two later on. All right, thank you. Bye.